This is the story of the most bizarre home game in Blackhawks history. It was game two of their preliminary round series with the New York Islanders, and it was played on April 7, 1977 at Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. The Hawks ended up with a home game nearly a thousand miles from home because Led Zeppelin was playing a sold-out show at Chicago Stadium. The Hawks' public relations director insisted the scheduling conflict was the players' fault. They were supposed to win their division and have a bye in the first round. That the Hawks lost their final game of the season to the Cleveland Barons, a bankrupt team that made a victorious last stand. That third straight loss left Chicago in third place in its division, and sent the Hawks into a best of three preliminary round series with the Islanders. Game one was scheduled for Nassau Coliseum on April 5th, and game two for Chicago Stadium on the 7th. NHL rules stipulated game two had to be played on April 7th unless both teams agreed to another date. If one of them didn't agree or the Hawks couldn't reschedule Led Zeppelin at Chicago Stadium, the game would have to be played on Long Island. With the Chicago Bulls game booked for the night of April 8th, the Hawks wanted to play game two in the afternoon. But the Islanders refused, citing the team's commitment to their regional broadcaster. That left Nassau Coliseum as the only option. But the Islanders had a scheduling conflict of their own. The Bugs Bunny Easter show was scheduled for the 7th. So it came down to the Islanders versus Bugs Bunny. And Bugs Bunny lost. The Islanders sent Bugs hopping and bought out his Easter show. New York took Game 1 5-2, setting up a must-win situation for Chicago in Game 2. It was technically a home game for the Hawks, and they took the ice clad in their white home uniforms. The hometown visitors scored two goals to the visiting home team's one, and the Blackhawks season was over. Meanwhile, Led Zeppelin played on at Chicago Stadium. Leave a like and a comment, and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more hockey history.